Julie, Fay Fam Balzer, and today I'm answering a question actually from a viewer. So just so you know, I do read and listen to all of your questions and I answer them when I can. And the question is, how do you add additional files in Scanica Canvas when you're already working in a file? So it's really easy. So in Scanica Canvas, which you can access via any tablet, computer, laptop that's internet connected, let's say that I am working on a project. So I'm just going to open up my projects and I'm going to go ahead and grab this snowflake and start to work on it. Now, while I'm in the midst of working on this snowflake, it's possible that I suddenly decide, oh my gosh, you know, I actually made this monogram that I think would be perfect with my snowflake, but how am I going to get to it? Super easy. Right here on the left side, it says my projects right under pattern. So if you click on that, it will bring up all of the projects that you've ever saved to Scan and Cut Canvas. And you can just go ahead and scroll through them, find the file that you're looking for. You'll click on it and it will bring it right in. And there it is. And now they can work together. However, when you're working on one of the projects that's built into Scan and Cut Canvas, so I'm just gonna go ahead and navigate back, you can't really access those from that left-hand panel, but I've got a hack for you. So what I'm gonna do is I want to marry this little butterfly with this flower, okay? But I gotta figure out how to do it, and I'm gonna show you how, and it's surprisingly easy. So both of those files can be found under this Japanese doll festival ornament. And if I click it and open it, you can see all the different files that are here for me. So here's my flowers. And of course, here are the butterflies. So here's my trick, which is you're going to open up whichever file it is that you want. It doesn't really matter. Let's say we're going to edit this and work with it, but we're actually not going to edit it. All we're going to do is we're going to save it although we can make one small edit, which is I only really want one flower. So I'm gonna click on it, edit, ungroup it, so that I get four individual flowers, and then I'm simply gonna hit the delete key to get rid of all the flowers except one. And now I'm going to save this into Scan and Cut Canvas. So now I know that that's saved. So now I'm gonna go back to Scan and Cut Canvas and to all the different projects and I'm gonna go ahead and grab that butterfly that we talked about, that little butterfly that's coming out of the center of this flower. So let me go back to the Japanese doll festival ornament, click on it, use the arrow keys to go ahead and navigate over to the other files that I want. There's my butterfly, we're gonna go ahead and grab that and edit it as well. And now again, I want to delete out the birds, delete out the leaf, these wings. There's two butterflies. I only want one. So I'm going to go to edit, ungroup, just save one. And now remember that trick I showed you before. We go to the left under my projects and I should be able to see the flower that I saved just a moment ago come up under there. There it is. I grab it, bring it in. Now the two are together. So I can move that to the back. So the butterfly is on top. I want to resize the butterfly slightly so it's much smaller grab them both and now let's make sure that they're aligned and let's use the process overlap tools and boom there it is my brand new file that i was able to create and you can see here it is all cut out super easy in scan and cut canvas for more tips tricks and techniques be sure to visit my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget about the scan and cut website at scanandcut.com.